Hey, what is going on guys? Captain Chunky, and in today's video, it's actually going to be a video I've been meaning to make for quite some time. So if you don't know, I'm all about uh, helping other people out doing, you know, just in general tutorials on this channel and whatnot. And a lot of people have been recently asking me, where did I get my intro through from? Who did I get it from? And did I make it myself? I did actually make it myself and it literally took me two minutes without actually downloading anything onto my computer. So yeah, that's basically what I'm going to actually be showing you how to do today. It's all different kinds of intro, don't worry. It's all different types, you don't have to have the same intro as me personally. But just a demonstration, this is an intro I made in literally like two minutes. As you can see, it's really, really snazzy. I didn't actually render it in the high quality settings. It looks like it took like two minutes to render, so therefore, it's kind of pixelated, but you know, you can improve that by rendering it in high quality like I did with my main intro. So what you're going to actually want to do, you want to go either to Panzoid or click on the link in the description. I'll also leave a link of this website in the thing here. And basically what it is, if you don't know what Cinema 4D is, uh, <coughs> that's the program where you make intros and whatnot. I personally can actually make intros from scratch myself. But this website, it just uh, does everything for you basically. People upload their uh, files onto this website and basically you can just edit the name, you can add textures, you can change the music. And basically you can make yourself a perfect looking intro within five minutes so obviously you know with it being a public website a lot of people might have the same intro therefore you know obviously you can take a gander obviously the more popular the intro is itself the more popular it will probably more than likely be used so there's thousands of files here so you know i'm just going to qu click on this one just to uh, quickly show you a tutorial i guess you could say and basically once you've opened it, uh, sorry I forgot, once you've clicked on your intro you want to click in open in click maker and then you'll get this page here. So you'll see your intro there, you can just cl simply click that little eyeball and click play and basically look at that intro, that is amazing right? I mean it's a little bit pixelated but we can fix that. So now what you want to actually do, obviously the most simple thing to do is actually just change it, change the name itself. And as you see, there's the groups of the lights, the effects, and all different kinds of junk, you know, basically all piled up. You can look through these really, really simple text. See, I've kind of picked an hard one here because I'm going to have to change the text individually, which is going to be really, really kind of difficult, especially to make the, uh, the tutorial. So therefore, I'm just going to actually cross that one off and pick more of a simple one. I can edit them ones, you know, but obviously with me wanting to keep this video at, a, you know, a short distance, I'm going to click an easier intro, so let's just keep searching, oh, we need to go back to the own page, Panzoid, and as you see, there's just, there's just tons of intros, tons after tons, and it's not only intros you can actually do on this website, you can actually also do outros, which is amazing, I actually made my outro also on this website. So as you see, there's just pages after pages after pages. And then obviously once you've found the right one for you, like I said, you know, you can just take a big, big, big gander through this website, find the perfect one for you, edit the text, edit the effects, edit anything you personally want to edit, and then you, you're going to have yourself a perfect intro. So let's see if this one is just a simple edit. But like I say, you know, you don't have to download anything. You can just straight up edit a full template and have that thing. So you're going to want to click this little object again also here. Uh, you're going to want to click on name. And I'm just going to type in captive for the tutorial. And as you see, it'll change the text. Obviously, you know, you want to obviously keep the size within that intro itself. Like as you see, captive gone kind of off the screen you know I'm obviously going to see how that looks at the end of the edit and if it looks bad I'll probably dimmen the size of the uh, text itself so you're going to want to change the second text as well the other intro basically what you have to do is you have to go from letter to letter that's why it, it would have took ages you know to make in a tutorial so let me just make sure that that is the full text edited Nope, there's still one more to do. 
That's a really nice song though, I really do enjoy that song. It's let me turn my headset down since it's coming through my headset. Uh, Oh, way oh. That may, may have been the problem. Oh, I missed a word out. Right, and now that should be bang on. Yeah, as you see, you know, it's a really nice looking thumbnail. I've got to say the lightning seems a little bit off for me, personally. But like I said, you know, you can just mess around with these, get the best one looking what you like, personally. Don't care what other people think, obviously, you know, you want to make it to your standards personally. Like I said, you know, everything about my channel, a, a lot of people, I've had a lot of people say that they love my banner, they love my logo, and I've also had a lot of people say I hate your logo and I hate your banner. They're the first first banner and logo that I've actually made from scratch, and personally, you know, it, it dedicates it all to me because, you know, I've done it all personally myself. Now the intro obviously you know you've had bits of hope that's why I do personally believe you should add some textures, change the music you know just get that intro looking a little bit different and then people won't actually notice that it's the same intro. But like I said you know if you pick a popular one the more people will have it, if you pick an unpopular one the less people will have it. I haven't actually seen my intro anywhere else so that's good that's what kind of why I picked my intro personally. But obviously once you've made all the edits as you possibly want, again, you know, you can mess around with all these, get it to your, what you like, and then once you've done that, you want to click on this little download icon. And the mode is definitely important. Obviously, you know, uh, the time of this is going to be all different for everybody because, you know, people have fast computers, people have slow computers. But just for this video, I'm just going to click on balance, which should take about a minute possibly. And then on MKV and WebM, this is what I was actually on about at the start of the video. Uh, if this is the same for you, you're going to actually have to use a website, which will allow you to convert this. So I'm just going to click web. I've actually seen uh, MP4 as a format, but all of the intros for me, what I personally picked, have not been in mp4 so therefore you know i've had to go onto a thing but as you see it's really really fast i'm just actually going to speed this up and we are back so obviously you know like i said the render settings i would recommend you use really high settings but obviously the higher you use the longer it's going to take to render you know, you can just t test all them yourself. Obviously, if you've got a decent PC like me, I would personally render it at the best settings. So once it's actually rendered, you want to actually click on download your video. And it's going to load this up and it's going to download that file itself. So as you see, mine's downloaded there. You can actually cross that off now. And then if yours didn't render in MP4, you didn't get the option like me, just head over to this website. I'll also leave a link in the description. It's really, really easy to use and it's really, really nice and simple. So you want to click on choose file and you want to click on the file that is the correct one, yep. And then you want to click convert file to mp4. You need to type your email address in because basically what it does, it sends you the video to your email address. Which is, uh, I mean, I don't personally like that, I'd just rather it just directs me to a second page where to download it. But you know, what? it is what it is. You want to click convert. I actually use a converted program myself, so I can actually convert them on my computer. But just for today's tutorial, that I said that it was no programs needed, I was just using this website. So it works 100% though. Well. I've tried it like a couple of times and it works rather well. So remember, I actually did render this video in balance, so it wasn't the best, but it wasn't the worst either. It was a really quick render, so the intro probably more than likely won't look up to its high standards but we'll head over to gmail and then as you see there i've had two uh you just want to click on this link here what's been directed to your email can you cross that off download now this can take some time i don't know why it's because it's just full of ads and shit i guess that's where they make the money though right so as you see that it's downloading there we're going to open it up right now and as you see it's kind of pixelated obviously you know because i did render it in the lowest setting possibly but like i said you know obviously you want to render it in the highest settings as you possibly go 
but I've noticed when I do actually render in the highest settings, it does take a really, really long time. I think it was like 20 minutes or whatnot, depending obviously how many effects was in that intro. But yeah, you know, obviously if you're wanting your own intro, you want to, you want the best, right? So you you are going to more than likely want to render it as the highest settings as you possibly can, and then get the best looking quality as you possibly can, you know. So yeah, I hope you do enjoy this video. It wasn't actually planned. I've just come to actually making it because you know a lot of people have been asking me lately, and I think I'm actually going to be making a tutorial on how to make a banner and logo without any programs also soon. But yeah, so if you do actually like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you have not yet subscribed, please do subscribe also. And join the Goonie Squad. And you guys, that has been the video for today. If you do like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And do subscribe if you haven't already. And you guys, that is me. I'm out. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. You